Welcome to my third tutorial about OSMand. In this episode I'll cover preparing and importing GPX tracks. I'll explain how you can use waypoints and favorites to help you during your trip. And I'll explain some of the settings for navigating a GPX track with OSMand and how to organize your tracks within the app. Unfortunately, OSMand has a bug in the way it treats GPX files. So we need to export every track separately. If you import a GPX file containing more than one track, they will be combined into one track. That may not be a problem, but the resulting track can be a pain to navigate, or it can crash OSMand, or you just can't navigate the track. To be clear, this video is not about routing along waypoints, but about tracks. It's totally different from point-to-point -point navigation, but OSMand makes it look like they're the same. Following a GPX track has nothing to do with the underlying map, so the guidance you get on screen or by voice guidance will be different from what you're used to. Before we start, follow the screen and change the default menu to Dashboard. I'll be using Garmin Basecamp to prepare my files, but you can use other software as long as it can export to GPX file. I've downloaded a GPX and imported it into Basecamp and you can see three tracks and some waypoints. To make it easier to get to where I want to start, I'll set a waypoint at the beginning of the track. And I'll add some more points I might need along the road. Now I can export a track with waypoints or I can export the waypoints separately. I'll do both to show you what's the difference. Select what you need in Basecamp and export the selection. The next step is getting the files into OSMand. You can use an online solution such as email or Google Drive or just an old fashioned USB connection. If you use USB you have to drop your GPX in the tracks folder of OSMand. This is where you can make subfolders to organize your tracks. The folders will show in OSMand. The GPX containing the waypoints has to be imported, so you can put it in the download folder and then open it from File Manager. If you use the internet to transfer your file, OSMand will ask you how to import your file. Choose Import as GPX file for the tracks and Favorites for the waypoints. You can use a third-party file manager on Android to make folders and organize your tracks. The waypoints you've exported with the GPX track will be embedded into the track. There are a few ways to get to your tracks and if you use a USB connection you need to open one at this point. The fast way is tap the activity icon, go to GPX track and there you can choose your track. Mind you, show current track shows the progress of a track recording. I'll show track recording at the end of the video. You can also go to the main menu, choose my places, tracks and there you are. You can turn them on and off and if you select a track you can view the information. The waypoints are show if you choose points. From here you can navigate to a waypoint which is in the track. The third option is via favorites. Show all and then choose tracks. If you've imported the track it'll be already on your map. If we take a look at the favorites and choose show all we can see the waypoints are grouped in the user folder. You can rename this folder so you can keep track of the different categories of points. You can also assign a color to a group, so the icons on the map have that color. This way you can have fast access to your waypoints without loading any track. This can be useful but you can get by with the waypoints embedded into a track. To show or hide the waypoints that are not embedded in the track, tap the activity icon and flip the switch. Here you can also turn on the labels. If you've got your track on screen, press the arrow and you'll be asked if you want to navigate the loaded track. If you've loaded more than one track, you'll get a choice of which track to use. 
If it's the first time using the app, you'll be asked about voice guidance. Make your choice and off you go. Via the main menu, I can go to the screen configuration menu where I can change the information displayed during navigation. Keep in mind that the directions come from the track and not the roads on the map. Let's take a look at the settings. You can change them before you start navigating or during. If I tap the map, the menu appears. And if I tap the blue arrow, I get into the navigation menu. Press the gear and you can change the settings for navigating the track. You can turn voice guidance on and off. You can reverse the direction and you can tell the app to follow the complete track. I would not recommend that. You might end up with OSMN whining you need to turn around because you missed a bit of the track. The next option is very nice. Calculate a route to the beginning and end of the track. This option in fact doesn't necessarily bring you to the start of the track, but to the nearest point on the track. That's why I made a waypoint at the start of the track. If this option is selected, the app will calculate a route to the track if you stray from the track. If it's turned off, you'll just see a straight line pointing to the track. So let's go back to your waypoints. In the navigation menu, you can turn on announcements for nearby favorites, points of interest or GPX track points. This way you won't miss important points on your route. You'll see the announcement at the top of the screen when you're close to a point. Unfortunately, you can't set the trigger distance. If you need to leave the track and want to return to the same place on the track, you can add a favorite in OSMN by long tapping the map. So now, track recording. Before we start, I have to tell you that if you record a track with OSMAN, you may have to convert it before opening it in other software. The GPX won't open in Basecamp, for example. Go to Plugins and turn on Trip Recording. You'll get a record button at the right of your screen. Press it, choose something and go. Press it again and you can stop or pause the recording. The recording will be in a subfolder of your tracks folder. That's about it. I hope this video helped. Bye.